I am here tonight at the North Star Bar in Philadelphia with Me on the Fire, and here we have Scott Goddard, Colin Schmidt, Matt DeSico, Virgil Cardamon, Ryan Trimble. We've all played together throughout our you know, musical careers, and then this thing kind of came together almost by fate. You would say we were doing kind of a, a cover band thing before, and it fell by the wayside. Realized that it was, <laughs> you know, <It's> terrible. exactly. <laughs> I mean, the way Maddie says it is, uh, you know, that we decided to stop playing other people's kick ass music and start playing our own kick ass music, yeah. which is, you know, obviously what every musician wants to do. So I, I first met uh, Virgil and then through them, Cahalan, and just like it just went down the line that way where we just went all the way. I got to meet all these great musicians. And <laughs> Ryan and I actually went to grade school together. Long history. Insanely <laughs> long history. Yeah. Many, many years. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, longer than others. <laughs> I think the fact that we uh, all split up at one point from high school and all came back together is really what lends to our sound. What happens during that process is, is it gets broken down, but everyone puts their influence into it and just creates something totally unique. And challenge. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like if there, no one's resting on the laurels for anything done so far, it's just, what can we do next? It's like everything that you love influence wise and nothing you've ever heard. That's one thing we've been hearing is, if I can say one thing, it's like nothing I've ever heard. To be that original, you know, be labeled as original in music is, you know, crazy and rare. Me yeah. and Scotty started in high school playing Tenacious D covers, which is like classico comedy gold. But the interesting thing is, it's just everything's in it. Everybody's in it. It's like, I've like, when I first talked to you and you said you were signing a Garfunkel fan, I was like, I don't know how. I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I like the Beach Boys. I like the Beach Boys. They hate acoustic guitars. That's what we hope the world thinks. It's just like, I want to hang out with those guys. They're like our friends. I mean, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it's a, we would have we would given you that CD for free if it means you're a lifelong fan. It off the table. I think it's on ISO, huh? We know that. You see a lot of bands are like, until we did it our own way, we weren't able to sell. And then some bands who say, like, when we finally realized how the market works, then we made the right video, and you never should have the world more confident. Right? That's like, to formulate those sorts of things. But the first album was awesome. I, did. <laughs> I think the more you get your music out, the more people will react to it and give you even if it's economic, it's through other things like you know, merch and stuff, etc. We'll see live shows, but really just getting it out is the best thing. But yeah, and I think every musician, when they start playing, they're playing free music until they ever get paid. So it's like, what about all those years when it wasn't right to just be able to play and write? I think if you just continue that mentality, you won't. You know, you won't get to yeah, we don't expect you got to charge money. just to show up somewhere. You should really charge for the, the full package of the entertainment as well. But the art is really the core. Yeah, trust me, if I was in it, sold for the money, I've been out a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Our biggest profit is having the music reach people's ears. Yeah, it's, it's us is the biggest game. Absolutely. You know? I can say you can, you can definitely write us into roles. I would have to say that that she, not the answer. Are we going with like platonic family terms or like? <laughs> well, I mean, like you would say. I guess as, yeah. as a fan I'm looking in on it, I, I think that would be me. I, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm a mother. Matt, yeah, keep, Matt no, keeps track of all of our money. Matt keeps track of all the business. This, this is of Dad over here. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. He's the intellectual one, yeah, without yeah. a doubt. You know what I mean? Scotty is certified genius. I would say he's the man on the street. He's the guy. That, <laughs> She's the party guy. Yeah, She's yeah, the guy who, after, yeah. after the show, Cheeto's she, the guy you're going to get a drink right. Yeah, sure. yeah. The rest of us are nerding out. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have a beer. Come on. I'm an intellectual. Yeah, but I'm mean, <laughs> more approachable. Ryan's the machine. We really do have to all have our hand in something, you know what I mean? So 
but we all bring a, a different side. I like to bring the theatrical side, but the map brings the humor. <laughs> online indie music reviewer magazine. I am all right. I am all day. All right. We love you guys. All day, every all right. day. Thank you. Thank you for this, yes. honestly. All right. All right. Peace out. Peace. Peace. See ya.